Hey, what's going on? Builders Krosama here. And my boys, we have some amazing in-game news and we have some fantastic leaks that I'm going to be sharing with y'all. Um, I don't know where these leaks came from. Someone said somewhere in Reddit. I don't really follow Reddit because uh, it's not really my style. But, you know, thankfully in, in my Discord, someone went ahead and shared these uh, pics with me. I'm going to share that at the end of the video. But for right now, I want to check out some of the in-game updates. And look, I'm just going to be front with y'all. This is probably some of the best updates we've, we've, we're going to have, period. Uh, for, I would say, at least a little while. I don't, I don't see how it can go any better than this. But I'm not going to waste your time anymore. Let's just jump right in. Now, one of the first things I want to talk about is the Ono Challenge. So I've already completed all of them, but you get a total of 3,000 Haro Chips from uh, completing these challenges. Now, I was maining Barbatos, and um, Barbatos is a little bit difficult to use in these events because um, obviously I'm an infighter, and it's just, you're getting hit. You, you know, it's unavoidable to just get hit. So you gotta kinda like go in, go out, back and forth. But, uh, you know, I was able to go ahead and win. I, you know, I kinda lost a couple of times, but um, overall beat all the challenges of Barbados. And then it was funny because I was on my alt account, and on my alt account, I have almost a complete new, and my new Gundam just demolished everything. And that's on my free-to-play account, so it's kind of weird my free-to-play account did a lot better than what my pay-to-win account is. But I'm pretty sure if I were to use uh, the new Gundam in this one, I would have been fine. Uh, but anyways, it's just a challenge that you fight all the main characters, or just some of the characters from the main storyline. It's, it's actually pretty difficult, but as long as you, you know, maybe cheese it a little bit and just use like a long shooter. Long shooter is going to be key in this, I'm telling you right now. And also bring a healer. So I had the Blitz with me, and, you know, obviously with the body and the head of the Blitz, he's just not really going to be attacked. He was usually the last uh, mobile suit. Like, my new Gundam was always getting destroyed, but my Bar Barbatos, I mean, uh, the Blitz, he was fine. So, you know, make sure you bring something that's going to be healing you along the way. Now here's another thing, um, I, I don't really know about this because of the fact that I never really had any of these issues when I was drawing the capsules, uh, whether it was like using Haro chips or some of the free ones or the tickets, uh, but if you had any of these problems, and it seems like it's going to be for a select amount of people that they somehow track, but if you did have problems when you was drawing you know, parts from the capsules and maybe you didn't get those parts or some kind of like issues, uh, you will be getting you know compensation, so um, these are different like I guess like eligibilities so you have like capsules open with hard chips the standard uh tickets you got the free time capsules uh another free time or oh, free first time then free per day friend point capsules so if you got any of those then you'll get whatever the corresponding um kind of compensation is so it could be hard chips could be tickets could be uh 10 times standard um tickets which is really really good but overall, like, I'm probably not going to be eligible eligible for this because I don't think I've ever had any issues when I was doing my capsule uh, pulls. So this is really good if you did have some kind of issues, so you're going to just get really good compensation. Okay, my boys, this is what y'all have been waiting for. This is going to be the huge, huge update, the 1.1 update. Okay, so on the 24th, 6 p.m., uh, I'm not really too sure what time that's going to be for Tokyo. Um, trying to do like quick maths in my head, but this is going to be a really, really long maintenance. But it's, you know what? It's it's for the best. You know, I'd rather them take their time and put all these, you know, different events and updates in here because I don't want I don't want it to be something super quick and then like it's server overload and all that. Let them take their time. Let them get everything sorted out so that way. You know, this whole new event and all these new features will be seamless and not overload their servers. And cause I want to play. I want to play, goddammit. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a long, long period, about, uh, what, six hours? So 12 a.m., so six hours it's going to be uh, taking. So please be aware that that uh, side, yeah, it's going to be a pretty long download, a pretty big download. I'm probably estimating a, maybe a gig. Uh, maybe not that much. It could be just 500 megabytes, but it is going to because normally it's what like 100 megabytes But I don't know. This is going to be some uh, some pretty big maintenance in my opinion Now we're gonna have the extension of the bulwark sword event period. Uh, so the original period was 8 p.m. and oh yeah, 8 p.m. to 8 p.m. on the 24th, so it's going to be lasting an extra to 12 a.m. So okay like about another six hours so it's going to give you an extra six hours, which is not bad. I'm kind of aiming to finish this by Sunday and then Monday and Tuesday just kind of like play some of the normal stuff and still trying to get that code uh, fee 
Kopai um, parts. I, I still need those. Uh, but yeah, so you're going to have an extension on the uh, this event, which isn't really too bad. So some people just couldn't get it if you're like a two times multiplier. Hey, you're going to have a little extra chance, you know, an extra six hours uh, to actually get those parts. Okay, so here are the update details. All right, so we have the addition of Story Mission Chapter 7 with the addition of Free Mission Chapter 7 Normal and Hard. That's going to be... Look, I'm not, I don't even care about the story. Like, the story is going to be like them on a beach. I don't really give a shit. That's like every generic anime story arc is on a beach and some kind of event happens. They're probably going to battle. Gunpla, you know, Bill, uh, Gunpla Bill Fighters, uh, or Gundam Bill Fighters, they did the same shit. Try did it. Like, I'm over it. I, wait, did, I don't, I don't know if Divers did it. Divers probably did, did that shit too. I don't even remember that, that, that um, that anime that much. But it's, it's old. I don't care about it. I care about my Haro chips. And we're going to be getting Haro chips because we're going to have the normal missions. So it's probably going to be, what, about uh, 25 maybe? About 26 uh, different missions. So that's going to be fantastic. Uh, I'm really, really happy about that. Um, then we're going to have the hard and we're also going to have the uh, the story mode. So really excited for that. Then the addition of blueprint and gear features. By using the necessary materials, blueprints can be uh, used to obtain gear, items, parts, and more. Gear is equipment you can attach to your inner frame with various effects such as raising perimeters. Look, that's going to be awesome. Like, I, I don't know how they're going to scale it. If, like, a default four-star part is going to be able to, like, scale at a lower level than what a default one-star can. Like, maybe they can get a default one-star to kind of raise up a little bit, you know, further. Uh, so that way it can kind of be on par with maybe a default two or three-star. Um... That'd be pretty good because it'll give it a little bit more um, viability to some of the lower tier parts. Uh, I don't know how that's going to be. I think if it's going to be across the board, there's still not going to be any reason to use like one and two star parts. Like right now, three and fours are like what you need to get. Primarily fours, but there's a lot of good parts in the threes. So yeah, I'm, I don't know, man, because uh, there's a lot of two parts that I, I would like to use, like the Gafran. Uh, I also like to use the Zuda, but there's no point because... They're not really that great. And next, we're going to have the addition of weapon types, dual sabers, and gatling guns. The dual sabers, I don't know if that's uh, maybe a part of Sandrock, but we already seen that Sandrock doesn't actually have um, the Chateaux as its weapon. It's an EX skill. So I don't really know about the dual sabers. Can't really think off the top of my head outside of like the Shingoku Astray. Uh, maybe some other, because there's other Astray models like the Kai. They have the, um, the, dra the dragon version. I don't know. Maybe those are going to be dual sabers. Maybe something in the future can get dual sabers. But for right now, not too sure. The Gatling gun, though, I am 100% sure that that is heavy arms. There's no way that you're just adding the Gatling gun because you have Goof Custom. You have heavy arms, heavy arms custom, heavy arms Kai. Uh, so there's a lot of different heavy arms you got. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's what it's actually alluding to. And next we're going to have is the addition of the multi-mission feature. Please wait a while while multi-missions are held. Um, so, multi-mission feature. I'm not sure. I haven't really seen anything about this uh, online. Multi-mission feature. It's really interesting. I don't I don't really know what that is incorporating. That I mean, that, that could mean the raids. But it, the raids was definitely... I don't think it was categorized as multi-missions. So, we'll definitely see when that comes around. And then we have the integration of the Standard Capsules and Standard Capsules 2, allowing for one free draw every 11 hours. Now, people are getting confused about this on Facebook for whatever reason. But what this means is the Standard Capsules 1 and the Standard Capsules 2 are going to become one Standard Capsule. So you, you're, you're, it's going to suck because you're bringing all these purple parts into one and it's diluting the pull system. So you're going to get two pulls on this one banner, and it's basically the same as what we had before, but uh, you're getting kind of like an extra two hours. Now what they need to do with this is kind of get rid of the time and just like have it at a default set time that you pull. So like like a daily thing. So hey, I wake up in the morning, I know 8 a.m., I think it's like 8 a.m. or 6 a.m., uh, the day resets for me. Why can't you know I have from 6 a.m. to whatever other, you know, from whatever time, to pull on the banner and get my free stuff uh, instead of it being like a time thing to where like okay what if i go past like four hours that's kind of like a loss of four hours and i gotta you know i lose those four hours and now i gotta wait another 11 hours for the thing to reset so kind of sucks but it is what it is 
Next you're going to have is item box limit of 99 duplicates for the same item will, in will be increased to 999 duplicates. This change will allow players to hold more items than ever before. Oh, thank heavens. I've, oh, God. So I've been struggling because I've been selling a lot of like my duplicate uh, AI awakenings. Because I really don't uh, do any awakenings on the AI pilots as of right now. But this is fantastic because now I'm not going to have to keep worrying about like trying to upgrade my uh, item storage. Because now I'm going to have so much free space. Because uh, 999 is a lot. So uh, I haven't capped out at 900. I haven't capped out at like even past 200 for a lot of the nippers. So this is going to be really good that I can just, you know, hoard all these extra items and still have more item space for uh, future things. So that's this. I, I'm, I'm going to think the reason they're doing this is because blueprints and other parts that are going to be associated with blueprints are going to be taking up item space. So just because this is going to free up space, you're going to be taking up even more space because of these blueprints. I'm 100% sure about it. And next, we're going to have addition to the max value button uh, to the detail screen of the parts in the shop. That's really good because when you go into the shop, you actually don't uh, see a max value, which sucks. Uh, you only see the level 1 stats. So the fact that you can press max value and see everything at the max value is fantastic because it's like, do I really want to pull on this part? And in order to see what the max value of the part is, you got to... You know, either buy the part or you know, ask someone else that already has the part to hey, can you screen that shot? Uh, can you screenshot that for me and send it to me with a max value? So kind of bypasses a lot of that stuff. You can just like you know press that max value. Okay, I actually do want this part because those stats are pretty dope. And next you have is display change, making it easier to understand active word tags within the build screen. That's so amazing because I I don't know every single word tag off the top of my head. Like sometimes when uh, I look at uh, close combat, I'm like, okay, I know melee is going to be increased by five percent. Well, I'm, I'm thinking like, what is the other five percent? Is, is it you know melee defense? Is it you know physical resistance? So sometimes I forget and I have to long hold on the part, and that just takes up time. So to alleviate that, just show me what it is in the active section, or let let me long hold on, or let me just press the um, the word tag. So this is actually really good for me to just save a little more time. Next is going to be display adjustment for when it's possible to draw a free capsule, as indicated uh, on the home screen when Haro jumps up and down and his eyes glow. Oh, thank God, because I'm tired of like thinking, oh, do I have a free pull now? And I go, I click on capsule, like I click on the Haro, brings it to the, the screen, and then I have to click on each individual capsule uh, pull just to see if I have it. So, once again, this is like a quality of life feature that I'm really much happy about. So when I see that Haro jumping up down with his light, you know, his eyes all glowing, I'm like, cool, now I have a, a free pull. And I can just click on there and bam, get my free pull. So really, really good. Awesome job, guys. Now we are going to have a lot of errors that's going to be fixed. Uh, I'm not going to go through them all. I'll just kind of like slowly, you know, glide through this. But um, yeah, I'm not really too worried about all this. It's, you know, kind of whatever but um you can always you can always just check it out on your own okay and lastly here we are in the uh the discord so this is going to be all the different leaks so we have the sokai festival that's going to have the freedom gundam and the justice um these are obviously since it's sokai festival you're not going to be able to pull these in the standard capsule there's going to be like a, a you know the new gundam and the zeta so me personally i'm not excited for any of these because i don't like freedom I, well i take that back i i do appreciate freedom i think it looks like a really good design but i'm not like trying to go for it because my love for it with gumpla is different than what it is in video games and gotchas so i'm not going to be breaking breaking the bank at all uh i might even just like try to pull one or two banners just to get at least one good multiplier part um but the only thing i'm really excited about this is maybe the uh the backpack because it is going to have those two cannons that's guaranteed to be an uh, ex uh skill might be one of those like finisher ex skills so we'll definitely see about that and the justice i'm not even feeling that to be honest um, next, we are going to have the AI pilots. So you have old girl from the original Gundam. Uh, I can't remember her damn name. I just know she's uh, Amuro's friend from the original Gundam. Um, I think she dies or something. Uh, then you have Duo Maxwell. I'm actually really excited about Duo, but he's probably going to be a defender type. Just l judging from what we've seen with the um, the Death Scythe, uh, I'm not really too confident that he's going to be anything else. But once again, I've been really, really wrong on a lot of these AI pilots. So he could be 
he could be in fighter no idea uh but i'm if if duo is going to be a good pilot i might pull for him instead uh then you have the standard parts capsule so obviously that's just like the uh the change in the thumbnail for it uh tutorial capsules not really too sure about this um i don't know what the hell tutorial capsules are uh, I don't know if that's like a practice tutorial, like, hey, you know, go ahead and roll the dice and you don't get any of these parts, but this is what you could have got. Obviously, that's probably not going to be it, but uh, very curious about tutorial capsules and what uh, that's going to entail. And then next we have Encounter with a Stargazer. So I am super happy about this. Um, I think this is going to be really cool uh, because I really do like the Stargazer. Didn't really care about the OVA, but I do like Stargazer. And if they're including Stargazer, um, you know, storyline mobile suits, the Strike Noir should be coming as well. And that's, that's probably my favorite one from this kind of like arc of the Seed uh, Saga. So equip you your or your ally Gumplas with multiplier parts to get up to 300% uh, uh, the event points. That's kind of worded very oddly. Um, and the parts in two is combined. I need to put a space in there. Uh, but there are other event point multiplier parts too. I don't know what that's supposed to mean because they show you everything right here. So unless they're talking about like, oh, there's going to be extra uh, multiplier parts that you can get out there, then cool. But as of right now, we do have a 7% on the uh, Stargazer and the Sword Strike. Then we have 40% on Justice and 50% on Freedom. So what this is, is going to be different. It's going to be a points system, as it's saying right here. Um, so instead of like, uh, you know, getting the just, you know, coins, it looks like it's going to be um, points that you're accumulating. And with every certain milestone of points, you're getting a new, you know, reward, which I'm all about. I'm wondering if that's going to replace the uh, achievement system or if the achievements is going to be alongside these uh, kind of like point system. So we'll definitely see there. Uh, but obviously, you know, Stargate is going to be our, um, our you know, MS that we can use. And then you're going to have, looks like, okay, you may only sortie with speed attribute gunplas, including ally gunplas. Check in game notices for details. Okay. So this is going to be speed attributes, which is not bad. Um, so what I have that speed. Uh, I think Rising Gundam is speed. I got the new Gundam, and I also have Blitz. So I'm pretty good. I, I got my little team of speed all set up. So I'm not too worried about this, but I'm very curious about the point system. And next we're going to have is update uh, commemoration. So it looks like it's just going to be a, a login bonus. That's kind of like what I'm, I'm guessing or... If it's not a login bonus, I don't know if it's just like showing it in the game's notifications, but I'm pretty sure that's just like some bonuses or it could be some extra little prize that you get. Uh, but that's obviously tethered to the storyline. And then right at the bottom, I think it's cut off a little bit, but it says re-rise pre-broadcast uh, campaign free daily capsules times 10. Oh, that's so good. So I know uh, re-rise is coming out in the beginning of October. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be here in Japan. I'm going to be back in the States for uh, probably about like 10, 12 days. So I'm probably going to bring my computer with me and I'll still do, you know, my, my updates and everything. Uh, but Re-Rise is the new Build Divers uh, series, which I already, I have a feeling it's going to tank. I think it's going to be really bad. Um, but that's just me. Um, you know, and obviously with this, we're going to get the free daily capsule ten, uh, times 10. Doesn't say for how long. Um, hopefully it's going to be for a good week. I would definitely appreciate a week, but I think with this is we're going to be getting Earth 3, and we should be getting, uh, not Mars 2, or Mars 4, uh, sorry, yeah, so not Mars 4, but I think, what, V2 or something like that, so yeah, Earth 3, V2, uh, should be coming, and then Mars 4 is probably going to be, like, in the future, because they're not just going to do two of the, uh, the, the main, you know, mobile suit kind of variants. They're going to do all of them eventually. Uh, but we already seen two of them with uh, a, a broadcast about a month ago. So uh, pretty excited about that. Can't wait to go ahead and see that. But guys, that's all from me. So lots and lots of good updates. Lots of leaks that are just releasing. And hey, I, you know what? As much as I kind of don't like leaks for the fact that it ruins a surprise, I'm actually all about it. Because I'm a little bit more excited for what's going to be coming in the future. Especially Stargazer. Now I'm really excited, and I already know that I don't really care to, like, save too much of my uh, Haro chips because I don't care about the next banner at all. It's not my thing. It, probably some really good parts, but I like to play this game more for the aesthetic piece and not for the uh, skills. So that's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate all of you for watching. I hope you're excited, my lads. If you are excited, please let me know in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more Gumpa Battle, Gumpa Warfare videos in the future. But that's it for me, guys. I'll be seeing y'all later. Bye-bye.